Hi, John from York Bay Financial Partners, uh, looking at the investment markets. Still a pretty tricky time out there in the US, so you've got conflicting data, and you've still got pretty sticky inflation. Now, while inflation has certainly come down from a year ago, it's sort of really quite sticky now. And in the last sort of couple of months, um, you know, it really hasn't come down that much. If anything, it's been a sort of small increase on a sort of month to month basis. That was highlighted by the Fed's preferred inflation gauge, uh, personal consumption expenditure. That was uh, 2.8 um, versus 2.7 expected. So what does that do to the Fed's uh, interest rate cuts, uh, sort of expectations, um, certainly pushes it back, looking at sort of second half of 2024 now, and potentially now maybe only one cut for this year, whereas certainly the beginning of the year they were looking at sort of uh, three to five. But again, with the state of the US economy, you know, you can argue that presently it doesn't need a rate cut. You still got reasonable growth, um, you know, and they say inflation certainly has come down, but it's still sort of a little bit sort of sticky out there. But more importantly, the employment market is still pretty strong. Now on the back of that, uh, rates have sort of nudged up just a little bit. 10 year is at 468, and that two year is above 5% now at 505. Then on the earnings side, you know, again, earnings are sort of coming in pretty well. Um, the sort of standouts last week, Alphabet and Microsoft, you know, Alphabet again, you know, huge beat, and uh, you know, announced its first dividend, and also a $70 billion uh, buyback on its shares. Also a beat from Microsoft as well, so you know the big techs are still doing pretty well out there. Now again we'll get further evidence of that this week uh, with Apple. Now on the political front, Donald Trump really can't help himself. He's breached his uh, latest gag order. No real surprises there, and he's been fined, and you know, and again threatened with potential jail time if he breaches it again. Now, potentially, there is, uh, you know, some sort of uh, hope that we might get a ceasefire in Gaza at present. Um, you know, most of the major powers are tr trying pretty hard to sort of negotiate that deal. Um, there is a potential deal on the table now, just needs, needs to be agreed. Now, on the back of that, oil has certainly fallen a little bit, uh, back at 81.70 and change. Now, in the UK is still pretty tough going out there, and it's you know, really just a question of when, not if, the Bank of England does cut rates. Because certainly the economy is struggling out there, and again, you know, inflation appears to be under control. It's well off its peak. Um, okay, it's maybe a little bit higher than the bank would like, but you know, on the sort of flip side of that, the economy really is sort of grinding to a standstill. Now, in contrast to that, in the EU region, it's uh, you know, quite surprising. They seem to have got their inflation under control pretty quickly. Um, currently still around 2.4%. Uh, you know, that still leaves a, a potential rate cut in June on the table.
before, you know, it would be quite ironic if the ECB were the first uh, major sort of central bank to be cutting interest rates. Given historically how they're sort of procrastinated about, uh, you know, any sort of uh, um, policy decision. Now, the latest data coming out of Australia shows sort of the weaker retail sales, you know, the potential sort of Taylor Swift bump has sort of disappeared. And, you know, those retail sales were sort of down uh, um, negative for the month. So again, with inflation, you know, sort of under control and certainly on a downward path, you know, all eyes are on the central bank to see where they might just give a little bit of uh, relief and a boost out there to the economy. Similar story here in New Zealand with, uh, you know, certainly the economy is sort of grinding to a bit of a standstill, you know, business confidence is down. We do have the budget in May and that will be interesting to see what comes out of that. You know, again, the issue is that inflation is still pretty sticky around that sort of 4% level. And, you know, that is way above the uh, Reserve Bank's target of 2%. So it will just be very interesting to see what comes out at the next Reserve Bank meeting. You know, no one's expecting any uh, change on interest rates, but it'll just be very interesting to see what uh, sort of commentary accompanies that uh, sort of unchanged rate decision. So if you are looking for income options, go to the website www.bayfinancialpartners.co.nz for lots of interesting articles and we'll look forward to speaking to you soon.